Hi, this is Glenda, and today I'm gonna make a soap using this embeds that you see on the screen. It's the soap agate from a um, couple days before. And I have here the oils. They are at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or about 40 degrees Celsius. I'm using Azure Blue Mica from Crafter's Choice, and I'm only using a very small amount, a quarter teaspoon. I because this is gonna be a one color soap. I'm going to add the mica to the oils first just to make sure that they're evenly distributed before adding the light water solution. Speaking of which, I have it here and it is at 28 degrees Celsius, which is 82 Fahrenheit. So it's about room temperature almost. And I'm just going to add it. And at first, I'm only going to stir it with the stick blender and it's not on it's just turned off and after a while i'm gonna turn it on for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time until i reach emulsion i'm gonna be using amber vanilla as a fragrance this is from lone star candle and it has close to two percent of vanillin content so this means that it will probably darken a little bit and i haven't used it before so i'm not sure and I don't know how it behaves in soap either. So I just brought the mixture to emulsion and I'm adding the fragrance slowly. I'm just going to stir it because I don't want to use the stick blender in case it happens to be one of those fragrances that accelerate or that seize. But um, I'm happy to report that it didn't. Uh, the soap batter stayed quite fluid for quite a bit. So I think I should be able to, in the future, to make another soap designs that may be a little bit more detail or maybe even split it into colors. Right around this time though, I remember that I wanted to use sodium lactate and I figured it was better later than never. So I added a couple teaspoons of it and I just stirred it in, tried to dissolve it into the mix. When I remember, I prefer to add the sodium lactate to the light water solution after it has cooled down some, at least less than 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have here an eight inch loaf mold. And I think I had a piece of leftover soap in there that I had to fish out. And as you can see, I had a little bit leftover and my mold was actually bowing in the middle. So I put the glass bottle there just to hold it in place and it seems to be doing like a reverse inverted bow that i hadn't noticed when i was making it now the top i just want to cover it with a variety of micas the first one that i added was um Enviro glitter blue and this has actually been discontinued but this other one that i'm using is mama clown uh, glitter like a snow color it's like a white color i use this in my face painting primarily and this other one is an gold enviro glitter from nurture soap and what i want is for the soap surface to be to have a shimmer to be shimmery because i'm going to actually cover it with some pieces of uh, chop melt and pour clear melt and pour uh, this other one was the silver i believe silver mist mica from nurture soap as well uh, even though i like how it looks right now all of this is going to be covered later you'll see and i think a better way to put this on the surface was if i had a colander or like a tea strainer to diffuse some of the chunks and at some point I did try blowing on it to disperse the portions that had too much of a um, chunk of mica so that way it will just go across the surface instead and for this actually I usually use a nasal aspirator you know the ones used for babies except you know i use a brand new one that's never been used by any baby or anybody and just to blow some air and it helps disperse uh, the mica here i'm using a snowflake sparkle and butter glitters and last i'm going to use some silver bio glitter as well as you can see it's just like a mix of glitters and 
my idea, like I said before, is that hopefully it will make the pieces of the clear melting pot, which I have them right here, we could see through them. And I also have the embeds here. And I'm just gonna put about uh, one per soap bar. And I do believe that I made some of them a little bit too big for a bar of soap but I did not want to stand them up because I feel that whenever I have uh, an embed and I put it standing up if it's too thin it's more prone to breakage although these ones are quite thick but only the front of them looks good enough for a soap the back doesn't look that good so I didn't want to show the back either I also had some extra soap dough pearls which were just small soap dough balls that I had um, shaken into a bag with white mica and it gives them that pearly effect and then I just sprinkle the rest I did have to remove my gloves because it wasn't working with the gloves but in order to push them down I just use uh, a small wooden stick just to make sure that the pieces don't come off that they're well embedded into the soap and this is what it looks like at the end uh, before uh, being ready to come out of the mold. Once it was ready to come out of the mold, as you can see the color uh, changed a little bit. However, it was hard enough to be removed from the mold and this was the day after actually. So it had only been in the mold for about 24 hours by then. I The first one I cut from the front, but then I remember that I was using all those embeds on the top and the mica so to avoid dragging it with the knife even though I didn't see a lot of um, marks at initially I did put it on its side just as a preventative measure and so far I don't see a lot of signs of discoloration from the fragrance however I know that sometimes you don't see it right away when the vanillin percentage is not too high. When the vanillin percentage is high, you can see it as soon as you're cutting it. So I will post at the end pictures of how they look after a few weeks so you can judge for yourself. So, so this is what they look like a month later on February 20th and the next picture is how these look like two months later the lighting is different because i took them at, at different times of the day here you can see on the edges a little bit of darkening or browning now with the leftover pieces i made some of these succulents that are on the top right because the color was perfect for it anyway thank you for watching bye